The Hot Toys boys are back and we got something big to unbox. So we have Boba Fett on throne. I'm very excited about this one. I've been wanting this for a very long time. And finally, I was able to save up some points so I could buy it on Sideshow.com. And guess what? We have arena suit Boba Fett. And now throne Boba Fett. And this guy's huge, and mostly because he comes with a humongous throne, which I can't wait to see what he looks like sitting in it. I'm excited to see how big his throne is. Perfect. Oh no, the wrong side! There he is! There he goes. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is amazing. I can't wait to see what this looks like outside the box. Look at him in his throne. <laughs> Oh man, that's cool. We got him on his throne. That's so cool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's very cool. Let's talk like this for a while. Yeah. I really like this. Yeah. I'm super excited. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Really cool. <laughs> you went over at the table. <laughs> Ooh, that is cool. You open the box and you got Boba Fett on his throne and Fennec Shand in the background. Wouldn't it have been really cool if we got Boba Fett, Throne, and Fennec Shand all in the same box? Watch, that's actually what we get. No, she doesn't come with this. How do you well, hold on, let me show you something. If you read down here, what does it say? Boba Fett and Throne repaint, repaint armor. Does it say Fennec Shand? I does it say Fennec Shand? Oh, look at the heads on his, his throne. You got them Rancor heads, Max. You don't mess around when you got Rancor heads Did on your throne. Did they make a Rancor hot toy? Because if they did, we need that. Get this out of here. This thing oh, is mostly yeah. thrown. Oh yeah, it's off -red. Look at this. Oh my God. I thought it was just plastic. It smells like a new car in there. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That is incredible. You know what? Pictures do not do this piece justice at all. I've seen this posted all over the internet on Sideshow.com. Having it in hand is an entirely different experience. Look at all the veins he has. Oh yeah, he's he's got a very veiny face. His head sort of looks gross, doesn't it? I don't want to touch it. I've been wanting a fat Boba Fett for so long. I'm so glad that I finally have one. This is awesome. You can also just put him on the stand, but he does that. Yeah, exactly. Who wants I don't that? Want to I don't, I don't yeah. Oh my God, look. It is fat Boba Fett. I love that the jetpacks have magnets built into them so they can just attach to the back. That's awesome. Look, he's got his little tracker. I love the repainted armor. Yeah. Remember, because in the show, he gets his armor repainted. Because at first it's all dinged up. I really still like that weathering, like spray paint look to it. Yeah. Like they just spray painted over it. Exactly, yeah. Like... like all the details are there on his armor. Look, you can probably from the camera, you can also see there's a bunch of scrapes and dents in it still. Yeah. So it's not like they just put a brand new piece of armor from Mandalorian on oh, it. I love that, yeah. And painted it. There's some uh, Fire Force flamethrower thing. Wait, there is a Fire Force jetpack. What? There's a Fire Force jetpack. Well, he's mainly going to be sitting on the throne anyway. Yeah, so plus, even plus um, where's, where's Creepy Head? Can creepy put, Head? Yeah, can we put the Creepy Head on? You want to put the Creepy Head on the figure? Yeah. Why didn't they just make it so that you can put the helmet straight over? <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Wait, you can put... You can actually see up inside of the helmet. That is really Wait incredibly cool. No, no, you can't put Why that on the Why can't you do that? Why can't it be like a Black Series figure? Hot Toys, you need to learn from Black Series. You learn really from Black Series? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, they need to make sure that that helmet can come off and you can no, see his head. No, because you'll scrape this up. You don't want to put that on his head. You're going to ruin it. No, you put some like foam in there, like the um, like the real helmet that you can put on your head. We have one up there. You wanted it. Now here it is. <laughs> Boba Fett unmasked. Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> just look at him. What do you mean just look at him? <laughs> He's like, when you get a 3D model from one of those weird websites. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut out his legs. <laughs> 
He even has his little kneecap blaster things. He's got a holster to put his blaster in there, and the blaster looks fantastic. Look at that. That's a cool blaster. I don't even know the names of the blasters, and we're not even going to try to figure it out and Google it or Isn't anything. Isn't it like an E60? Ooh! This right here is magnetic. That is really great because the Mandalorian one, it actually like tucks in. Oh yeah. And it's really frustrating, but I think it's just trying to be show accurate. Yeah, that that's really cool. So there is his rifle and there's a name to the rifle. Suck it nerds. This is not real fabric. This is not real fabric. You want a real fabric? Yeah. God, you got expensive taste, I'll tell you You what. don't want real fabric. Well, I mean, maybe, You don't like but... him to sit in comfort. You don't want his plastic butt cheeks to sit in his comfort. His plastic <laughs> butt cheeks? Can we, like, not call them his plastic <laughs> butt cheeks? This is actually not as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to have, like, a whole scene thing happening behind it. Well, why would it have all that? Because you spent $300. Oh, nice. Okay. So there he is. He sits in there... Pew. Perfectly. And look, the little Rancor heads. They almost look like they're made out of like some sort of metal, but they're not. It's a harder piece of plastic. It does feel a little bit like metal, but I know it, it can't be. This is cold. This. For, I don't know. I don't, I don't I, know. I can't it's, tell. It's, it yeah. might just be too big. Yeah. Oh my goodness. If you like big pieces in your Hot Toys collection, like proppy sort of stuff, this is perfect. This makes your display of all of your hot toys really stand out. My problem is now, Max and I were discussing this before, we have no idea where we're putting this. I, I don't know where I'm putting this. I don't know why I'm buying hot toys. More hot toys. Yeah, I, I think it's just for the Hot Toys Boys content, but also we don't get much. Uh, well, we're the Hot Toys Boys, but now we're the Hot Toys Boys with no space. We're the no space boys. Maybe what we can do, maybe we set up like a room somewhere and um, put all the hot toys in there. Okay, so you want like, like to have upstairs? a museum? You want a museum in the house is what you're saying? We have room no, in this house for a museum? <laughs> no, and we have like a desk up there. And that's where we film Hot Toys Boys. In a museum? In my attic. So now we're moving the Hot Toys up to the attic. Is that what you're telling me? Look how creepy this is. He has like a little head growing out. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Wow, this Wait, is really awesome. Is this is one of the Rancor heads. <laughs> you and I have unboxed countless Hot Toys. We have countless Hot Toys in this room right now. What are you, what are you thinking about this? I mean, the display, you liking the display, you like I, the figure. I really like this whole figure. He's really cool, like he looks really nice. I like the effects he has on him, like the weather. Okay, you like the weather effects, I like that as well. I like that he comes with a lot of things like this thing. We should just knock out all this back here. He should just be right here, staring into your souls with his Staring into your souls with um with his beanbag <laughs> head. They put a lot of detail in Rocket this figure's head. This is unbelievable. It looks exactly like him, and all the the veins or whatever you call this, the the burn marks from the acid from the sarlacc pit. It's disgusting, which is exactly what you want out of a Boba Fett head that was eaten by a sarlacc. Is I, that I, really where he got his burns from? Yeah, he got I swallowed up by a sarlacc pit. What do you mean you don't know? What are you not watching the show? I don't know about Boba Fett. Himself with Boba Fett's my favorite character. Oh, really? You like Boba Fett? I love Boba Fett. Oh, I really? Didn't know that um, he got... did you, do you remember when he was eaten by a sarlacc? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know he got eaten by the sarlacc, and then he crawled out of it, and that's how they made the Boba Fett show. In this picture, it's showing that he has ho holographic accessories. You know what? I think these came with the special one, maybe. There's a special one. I think we got Jip. Special one. Yeah, because it's not here. Exclusive accessories. We didn't get them. No, Thanks, I instruction didn't... manual, for letting me know I didn't get Wait the special minute. edition. Wait a minute. How much money did we spend on this? I don't know, like 350 We can't get four pieces of plastic? I know, tell me about that. Thank you. We need to pay 400 more dollars to get three pieces of plastic. It's not 400 more dollars, but yeah, you keep showing, put, showing put, you're a little bit more angry, on his hand? <laughs> I mean... You kidding me? Sideshow, if you're watching, I really feel like you need to send us these little weird pieces that you go on his arm. I really do. I feel like we need did, them. Did we miss something out of the box? Did, cause no, we didn't miss anything. This is it. What do you mean, did we miss something? We got it all. Look. Got the weird hand that looks like he's, um, <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing oh, with wait, his hand, but. I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Can you do that thing where he holds it like Oh that? my God. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. Where he's doing this? <laughs> they actually, give us they actually <laughs> put the hand in there. Where he's doing like Wild West tricks with the gun. Is that really what it is? <laughs> he actually give us that, but not a help. And then he also can pick his nose with this finger too. Okay, we're gonna do the picking your Wait, nose. We're really setting this on. We're just gonna have. To, yeah, we're gonna have to do this. This should be his pose while he's sitting in the throne. Yeah. <laughs> This is what he does on his off time. All right, so as you can see, Boba Fett is picking his nose now. This is a pick your nose pose. Yeah. There you go. 
I mean, I guess sometimes Boba Fett just needs to break his nose. There you go, Boba Fett picking his nose while on throne. <laughs> because when you see Boba Fett, he's looking intimidating all the time, but our Boba Fett is not looking intimidating. Instead, he's, he's digging out a big old booger. Yeah. You will find this on no other channel. It is Boba Fett picking his nose on throne. There's gonna be 40 other people who copies us. Oh, you think they're gonna copy us? Oh my God, you know what our main photo for this video should be? Like our cover photo? <laughs> it should be how to pose Boba Fett like this. Here, I'm gonna take a picture of it. And it's gonna be how to pose Boba Fett like this. You guys are watching us take this picture. And we're not even clickbaiting either. <laughs> oh no, this is not clickbaiting. We're telling you this is exactly what you're, if you're coming to watch this video, you're getting Boba Fett pictures. You don't even this. need to put anything on the front page. It's just this. This is all we need to put up there and people will click into it instantly. This is how you get views. This is how you get the views. This isn't even clickbait. She took a real picture. I think this is gonna be a million view video. And you guys just watch us take the picture. How to make Boba pick his nose. Picking nose eating compilation. <laughs> Booger Fett. Look at all of the cool things that come with this figure. There's a bunch of hands and of course the helmet. Look at this. Hands. Got the helmet sitting here. I took off my helmet so I could pick on my nose. <laughs> That's what he's saying. It sounds like Huckleberry. It does sound like Huckleberry. I took off my helmet so I can pick my nose. Do not come in here and intimidate me because I'm picking my nose. Can't you see I'm digging for gold? <laughs> Do you think maybe you can leave my chambers? You think about Boba Fett on Throne Hot Toys figure. This is, uh, what is this? Uh, M -M uh, TMS 056. So if you want him, go on SideShow.com right now and you can purchase your own. To sum this figure up, he comes with a really cool throne. The figure looks awesome. He's got the cool head sculpt. Looks like the real actor. The helmet's amazing. The interior of the helmet is amazing. If you don't have a Boba Fett figure yet, this is the one that you're gonna wanna pick up. This Boba Fett figure comes with almost everything he has in the movies, and they even gave us a separate stand, so that if you don't want him on the throne, and you can just stand him up, he's right here on your stand. Why would anybody even use that? It yeah, makes no sense. This. this does kinda look cool. If you buy the figure, put him on the throne. Don't make any mistakes, because this is what you wanna do. So that's it. I think you we're done. You wanna make sure he's picking that nose. And we're the Hot Toys boys, baby. And when you come and watch a Hot Toys Boys video, you don't know what you're going to get. You might get Boba Fett picking his nose. How about that pose? Quality. What do you think about that? Quality. Quality. Yes. Quality. 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 Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about this Hot Toys and more in the comment section down below? Do you like him? Do you think he's cool? Do you like our uh, picking nose pose? Do you enjoy that? Let us know all that and more down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons on Patreon in this video. We'd like to shout out to Dylan Kunath, Dr. Applesauce, Ernest Allen, Brandy and Keith Villa, Jacob Martin, Glenn Tavener, Matty Mooch, Richard Guider, Franchise Kicks, and Mikey Owens. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Okay, well that's it. Um, this is a great figure. Go ahead and buy one right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because that helps our channel in a very big way. And Max would really like that. And we have quality videos. Guys, remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Quality. Oh, no.